Hey, what's going on? It's your boy 239 Turk. And it's your girl Jasmine Nicole. And you tuned in to Mixed Vibes. In the VIP Lounge. Hey, we got a special guest today. This is actually our first guest. We yes, don't sir. need no introduction. <laughs> Mr. Ohi Lit, Mr. A.G. Lottie. Yo, what it do, man? What's Your boy going A.G. Lottie. It's good. What's good? Yeah, everything good, man. I'm glad to have you in here today. I'm glad to be here, man. Look good in here, man. I like y'all set up. Appreciate you. Very Appreciate nice. You. You know, very we nice. Be trying. We be trying So, things. do you go by A.G. Lottie or Lottie? Which um, one is it? Well, I feel like they call me Lottie for short, but you know, my, my artist name is A.G. Lottie. A.G. Lottie. Yeah, for you sure. You know what? Okay. See, I've been knowing him for a while, though. You yeah, know? yeah, Devo. Fact. yeah, Devo. Devo. <laughs> now, hey, look, if you know, if you if you call me Devo, you know me, know me. Okay. You really, you know, you might, you know, the real me before before the lighter. So it's yeah, like, man. I, I definitely gotta respect you. A nigga, holla Devo, I I turn my head quicker. Like, oh shit. Devo, like, know what I'm saying man. for yeah. sure. I see, you got a lot of stuff going on, man. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, man, for sure, man. We got this two three nine takeover, bro. I really. I really, um, you know, it just envision, you know, it really, I'm going to be honest, it really started with the list. You know, the list always bra them up. When you make a rap list, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the first thing to get them talking. And I feel like, you know, just like, I feel like it was so organic. It just grew into something better. Like I started, the vision started getting bigger for me. It started like, I started seeing different things. Like, hold up, maybe we got some, maybe we put these, all these artists together because we got so many artists. I done seen a bunch of talent, you know what I'm saying? I got talent myself, you know what I'm saying? You got talent, even it's people. So I just feel like it's just a time for us to come together. I'm watching all these cities in Florida come come up. I see Tallahassee doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? With the Boston Richie, the little right, Tyler, right, right. the Wiz. I see uh, Jacksonville had their time where they had all their artists. Miami, of course, Fort Lauderdale, you got Broward, you got... So you're trying to bring Fort Myers so together as a union. So I just want us to come together where it's like, okay, D-Boy from Fort Myers is right. taking over the game. So so let me, let's start off with you first. Yeah. How long have you been into rapping, been rapping, been doing your thing? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta say, I've been rapping for sure 10 years. 10 years. 10 years? Oh, yeah. man. In it 10 years? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm 10 years in this shit. I ain't gonna lie for sure. And, and you still feel like you got that same hunger from the beginning from 10 years ago to now? Um, I feel like I don't got the same hunger, and I feel like, but I feel like I'm way more knowledgeable and I know the business and I understand the game. So I feel like, and I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I feel like I'm a talented artist. I know I'm a talented artist. So with the music was never a problem. It was everything else. Like the music was always good to me. When you, you know say saying? when you say everything else, what do you mean by everything else? Just the business, the marketing, the promotion, the networking, going places. So you is it different? Saying? Cause you you live in Atlanta now, right? Yeah, I live in the A. So yeah. is it different over there versus here? Hell yeah, with the music? way different. I mean, just the mu just the city being bigger itself is kind of like hard to unfair to compare the two. But mm -hmm. just it, the culture of music is so deep in Atlanta, and there's so many artists like. The, the list is so endless from right. the old school to the new school. So it's just like, and then I see so many platforms and I watch so many artists blow up in Atlanta. So I like, I just, I see how it, easy it is for them because they got the resources. I and, feel like we don't got the resources. Right. And they stick together. Yeah, they definitely stick together. I, I mean, they, they got together. they got people who don't, they got sides that don't like each other and stuff like that. But oh, for wow. the most part, it's support. I feel like there's, the music bring them closer. As so that's city. what you feel like we don't have or something we missing is support and yeah we hate it we hate too much, bro. For Mars <laughs> is a hating ass city, bro. I got it in me. I catch myself like it's just a, it's an infection. Like you, can, I might catch myself like that nigga ain't doing we shit. We ain't friendly. Yeah. We just yeah we just ain't <laughs> better than yeah. us. So yeah. I just feel like somebody got to change the narrative. Somebody got to break that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like me as one of the bigger artists to come out the city is like I feel like I got the power to do that. That's my calling. Okay, like so that. so let me ask you, like, how did you first break into the industry? Like, how did you when mm -hmm. when you transition from just local two three nine and get into a platform of being someone who made it to a situation? How did that come about? Um, really, I felt like uh, I ain't gonna lie. I had to get out of the city. I had to move, and, and and I moved because I know we didn't have the resources that I needed to to get to the level that I want to get to. So I definitely um went moved to the A. And then from the A, I just had that hunger. Like when I first got to the A 2019, like I just had that hunger. I'm like, man, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get a deal. I'm gonna make something mm -hmm. happen. Like it's just too much opportunity. And then previously we done did features with 
uh, wife and Lucci with, right, with right. little baby. So I was already familiar with going to Atlanta and knowing how Atlanta worked. But for me to live there, it's like, okay, I live. I can go to Strokers every night. I can go to this event when 21 Savage have a, a block party. I could go to when Jay from Big Fats Podcast throw a shit show event. Right, like I can, right. Right. I live here now. I can just pull up to yeah, anything. Yeah. Right. And it's, you in it's, the spot. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm living in it. So it's different from being, when, you know us being from Fort Mile, like, oh, we got a plan. We got to drive to Atlanta. We got to make right. a trip. Right. We're going to cause Thanks. this. We're going to cause that. Who yeah. want to go? Don't nobody want to go. Da, 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 da. So it's like, it's different. Like So it's like living, so, in, living in the motion, really. So you've been rapping like 10 years? Yeah, 10 years. Wow. So, mm-hmm. so going to Atlanta and leaving out of the city, mm-hmm. could you say that that has influenced your perspective on music and how you see things, like from Fort Myers and what we have going on? Because you say we don't have resources, so yeah. when you go and see those different or have those resources and mm-hmm. see those people and be in that environment, yeah, how has that influenced how you feel about music or how you approach music? Uh, it just influenced. It it let me know that it's is that this thing is so big, it's way bigger than than just like, it's, it's so big. You got so many people who who are invested in the culture. Like, there's so many people that got podcasts. There's so many people who got platforms where you can come perform. There's so many labels. There's so many real A&Rs. There's, there's people who done did shit with legends. There's legendary people. Like, for instance, you got uh, Killer Mike. He from Atlanta. He just won three Grammys. Shout out like, Killer Mike. Shout you feel out me? Killer that Mike. type of culture hey. is in Atlanta, where it's like, they're great. 21 Savage, I remember he won a Grammy. Like, all these people being from Atlanta, it's just like, they're engulfed in greatness. Right. You know and and, and this, in 2024, you got people like that winning Grammys. It's possible. It's facts. It's mm-hmm. possible. It's possible. And Dirt 48. Won a Grammy. Right, yep. right. 48 years old. Yeah, that's that's So that's it's crazy. like, damn, you can't even tell a nigga, hey, you too old to rap. Because this nigga 48 and just won three Grammys. Right. And was independent and you, invested 500000 That's a big issue for a lot of people. They yeah. feeling like, you know, age. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, mm-hmm. am I too old? But no, if, if you got a guy, how old is he? 40, 48. 48 wow. just won a Grammy. Run three. What, he had the best rap album? Best rap album. Oh, man. Best rap. We run three Grammys. Shit. It's like, not one. Niggas can't even get one. Right. <laughs> so is that is that what you mean by with, with the uh 239 takeover? You trying to bring that to the city. Yeah, I want to bring I just want to bring a platform and a music culture to the city to where like we got people who in the game, in the industry, know the game, know the you feel me? All the top dogs from 239 who cuz we got people who done did legendary stuff like mm-hmm. you feel me? We got the 239 Turk who done been around and done dealt with every artist and done, de- done the best music and done had the city on lock. We got the AG Lotties and who done did features with YFN Lucci. You got the C Stunner. You got the T Rose. You got such it, these. It, the big, list go on. Right. The, you it's feel so me? Much talent. It's so, a lot of talent. So much talent. A lot of talent. The <laughs> biggest issue with the city is. We ain't friendly. Coming together. Yeah, we ain't friendly. Yeah, and we ain't I, friendly. I was saying that with my, like, <laughs> shout out to Lenny. I love him to death, but it's like, he gave I us feel that like stigma, he man. gave us that thing where we was like, man, we ain't friendly. And ain't it's like, friendly. It, it just stuck with us to the point where it's like, bro, when you out in these places in in, this, in Atlanta, you got a network. You can't, That's you can't go and be like, nah, I ain't no group. I ain't no dick around that nigga. I ain't yeah, no yeah, groupie. Yeah. Right. I don't want to. No, what's up, bro? I'm from Fort Myers. I'm an artist. I want right. to, I'm, I'm trying to do my music thing. Like, what what can you give me some advice? Like, hey, you gotta you gotta be friendly to network. Right. So yeah. it's like yeah. I feel like us is just trying to be the hardest and trying to be the best and always in competition is just like, bro, let's come together, bro. So Collab. with that being said, what do you think uh, or what is your current perspective on the music and two three nine? Like, what do you think they are? I feel like it's a lot of talent, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this movement really been showing because I was I wasn't tapped I wasn't as tapped in as I thought. And then you gotta think it's a younger generation. It's the twenties and the all the way through the so it's like the young cats coming is like it's a lot, it's more talent than I feel like when we was rapping for real. So it's like I'm really I'm really like surprised at how much talent it is and how many people in the city really doing their thing and like there is a music crowd here there's a music culture here but they just we just need a platform to make it be known like we got yeah. it and an- another thing too with the music here it-, it is a lot more people rapping now it's just a lot of times we don't hear it because mm-hmm. the footwork is different the footwork it's, it's yeah. streaming now yeah it's, and it's it, internet now right the internet with yep. streaming nope it, 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 you rarely see someone hitting the street, being their feet and doing a thing. I used so to be tagged of- in so many local artist stuff, but yeah. I feel like now they don't really put it out. 
Yeah, like, I feel like with, the with, with the artists, they gotta they gotta understand that that's part of knowing the business, like knowing how marketing and promotion work. So the thing about it is, you're right. It's not. It's, it's still footwork. Don't get me wrong, because they, they once you yeah, once yeah, you get to yeah. a certain level, they want to see you outside. Like I was at the BT Awards, they want to see you at different places. Where it's like, okay, shit, I seen you here, then I seen you here, then I. So the footwork is still there, but it's different now. The internet is more the bigger the bigger power. Right, you feel me? Right. So it's like knowing about YouTube ads, knowing about Instagram ads, knowing about getting on blogs and paying blogs to promote your music. Now knowing you, about right. stuff like now, that. When you say stuff like that, I always sit back uh, uh, for somebody behind the scenes. I think of where do you separate it? When mm-hmm. wh- when can the artist be the artist? Because mm-hmm. I notice a lot it's of hard. artists are trying to be their right. own managers. They trying to do so. They trying to in the same time while they mm-hmm. trying to make the music. They mm-hmm. trying to learn. Oh, I need to do uh, YouTube campaigns and mm-hmm. all this. So a lot of times I feel like artists need to know their role and they need to get people on their team who can play their role. Mm-hmm. Get you somebody who can Fact. make sure you know the uh, yeah, YouTube ads and an artist. An artist is good, but an artist is only good as his manager. You feel me? Right, and a lot of right. these artists we look up to and we. We be, they all got great managers. They yeah. all got great managers. So I feel like they used to tell me when I was coming up, um, like young, young jit. They was used to tell me like, uh, you know, a uh, uh, great manager will find the artist. But now I feel like you should be looking for a manager because it's like it's hard. Like you said, it's hard to be the artist and try to manage your career and try to keep up with the marketing and promoting and having a roll out right. for your music. Right. That's why I feel like it. It take from the from me. I'm just so blessed that I to be talented, but it take from me as focusing so much on the business that I don't even be like a lot of people want to work with me, but it be a period where I'm like I'm in CEO mode and it's a period where I'm in artist mode. It's like mm. so like and that's it's that's a lot. A, but I got a, a manager, problem. I got a good manager, so he really be taking the load. That's what they supposed to do, take that load off of you, Lottie, just go in the studio. But ain't it like music. easier to blow now than like five years ago? Maybe 10 years With ago. the internet, yeah. TikTok, yeah. If you get one song going on TikTok, you out of here. Gotta go viral. viral. It's, and, and you go yeah. viral, you got it. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like TikTok is the easiest way and it's a good source. The only thing about it is a lot of TikTok artists that blow don't have real talent so it don't last long. Right. That's At why all. a lot of people right. be tired right. of the TikTok right. artists because they be like, right. oh, you you a TikTok artist but it don't last long. But a few of them have they like Cola Ray. Cola Ray been riding you out. feel me? Cola Ray rolled out. out. I know she blew up on TikTok. Yeah. A lot of people like Boss Man D-Lo blowing it right now. He he had a following on TikTok. I think that's what him and the girl, the Tia, was going through. But I feel like that's yeah. she really blew him up on TikTok. In my eyes, I feel like. Do you feel like TikTok is hurting music and mm, artists or, that's a good or question. helping? That's a good question. <laughs> Tech, really, in my heart, I feel like it's hurting. But knowing the marketing and knowing how music business work is helping, because. TikTok is the quickest way for your song to be streamed at so at a fast rate because everybody want to do a trend. They want to make this video to your song. You feel me? Right. So it's like so, so so when I think about that, like when you say it's so fast. The TikTok streams count towards you getting paid. Yeah. So it's like the labels look at that like, oh, that's a that's a stream of income. So I feel like that's why a lot of music isn't classics or it don't last. Facts. Because yeah, it's hurting it's, it's hurting so... music, music as a whole for real. But I done heard real songs and that made me sweat. Yeah. Made me high. yeah. So I hear how, real good wait, music wait, on how, TikTok. How long do you think that song's gonna be around? That's another song that is mm. here, but it won't be around. It won't be a so classic. Where are the classics? Where are the I songs? Oh no. I feel like classic. Because cause... they want so much music so fast, so fast. TikTok, bring music, more right. music, more music, more music. Because on TikTok, do you, feel like the, do you feel like there's been classics made nowadays? I haven't uh, heard a classic in a long time. Music go in. You ever heard a song I'm like, damn, I forgot he had that track? Because <laughs> he put so much music out. Because, matter of fact, let's do ask you. Do you think any of Rod Wave music is, is classic? Let me. I'm gonna answer that question. But let me, let me ask you, you say Kodak music is a class. Do we got class? I'm gonna answer yes. that question too. I'm gonna answer okay. that question too. Okay. Let me ask you this question, okay. right? You made music, right? Uh huh. And drop music, right? Right. And then you have a fan say, "Hey, when you gonna drop some?" You be like, "I just dropped some." Oh, I got that. But when you gonna drop some more? Yeah. I don't have that happen before. And it's just they just hungry for the music. Yeah, no, the com- so, consumption is way bigger, and there's so many artists rapping now, so now they're really eating it up. That's why content wins right now. So, so back in the day when they dropped the album, you had to wait. You had to you had to wait watch the video. Year. You had to watch the video, <laughs> and whatever singles they put out that built up to that album, then yep. you got the album, and that's what you got for a while. Yeah, yeah. And, and you listening, you learning, and you know it. 
But now it's like I'm dropping the album mm-hmm. and I'm dropping a mixtape right behind it. And yeah. deluxe. Got a couple no, singles. everybody doing a deluxe thing. That, right. So it's it's just so much. But so much the, music. the song's so small now. They short. That's true too. And that's, that's true and that's too. What Me I'm as an artist, I went from one, two, three verses to. Going to in the uh-huh. well, we, in a long ass <laughs> verse. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Now it's like, bitch, a quick, quick hook, quick right. verse, quick hook. We out of there. Quick, Rod right. Wave songs be like a minute and thirty seconds. Right, and I blame Rod Wave. But so, <laughs> <laughs> so when you ask me, do Rod Wave songs are, are they classics? Listen, I like Rod Wave. I mm-hmm. fuck with Rod Wave. Love Rod Wave. So. I, I feel like he got one I or two. Do, baby. I do feel like that his music is just. His music is great. Mm-hmm. I, I can't lie. He, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't understand how he's not at all these awards and shows and everything mm-hmm. like that. Me either. But, That's crazy. But after a while, they are gone to me. That's my personal opinion. They, they won't last. I won't like three, four years from now. I won't be listening okay, to those Drake. same Drake Rod Wave songs. Classics. Drake make Drake classics. Drake has classics, but does he make them? Not, uh, not lately. God's plan was that a classic? God's yes. plan. Yes. Maybe. I, I, you know what? God's plan to me. God's plan was a hit song, big hit. Uh huh. Five years from now, I will not be listening to God's plan. I don't think you would be listening to God's plan. <laughs> we uh, ain't listening to it now. Right, I'm not listening to God's plan right now. Right, I, I, I was. But saying, it became on the radio. I don't know what makes a classic nowadays hard. Like it's what really makes, hard. What makes a classic? Because what? Because back then, music has evolved so fast and so it's crazy what music is now than what it was back then. Do Kodak got a classic? You for sure. That. Which, what song would you say from Kodak is a classic that we could turn on? We'll turn on right now. Cause, no, no, no. And let me say this, too. Because there are songs that I don't feel like is classics. But if I turn it on right now, I'm still rock out to it. Flocking. But I ain't right. looking. Yo, I ain't nigga. looking. I, got, okay. I ain't looking. Flocking. Flocking. That, I will say flocking Flocking is forever. Song. Like, you hear that, you go be like, hey. Yeah. Flocking for sure. Yeah. Um, Kodak got some shit, man. We got to see, dog. What music? Because it's like this. When you... What makes a classic? How long? How, what's the span of time that it need to last? Five years? Ten years? For me, I feel like a classic is those songs you don't forget that you can. Yeah, you you won't forget. I'm gonna you pull these forget. songs out when I get in the car. I'm I'm gonna put my slow jam uh right. on, and you know you finna see H Town Silk. Is Tunnel Vision a classic? I know you like to see you in it. No, no, that's no. definitely a classic. No. <laughs> No. That's a classic. I don't feel like is a classic. That's a classic. I don't feel like it's a classic. Oh, shit. Let's, 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 just be, let's be honest. At this current state of time, when they last play time, it, when, do you no, know no, no, it? Word for word? Damn that. Damn that. They, I don't have to say if they play it, I'll listen to it. When I get in my car, I will play Silk. When I get in my su- car, I will play Lil Wayne shit. I will play New. Wayne got play, classics. Drake right, got classics. Right. When I feel I like Future car, got classics. That. When you get in your car, when the last time you put on that Kodak Tunnel Vision? I, I haven't. That's true. I just named who got classic. Wayne got classics. Drake got classics. Future got classics. At any given time, when you get in the mood, you're going to throw on some Future. Yeah, for sure. You're going to throw on some Drake uh-huh. or some Wayne uh-huh. or who, whoever you fucking with. I feel like Plaza got, got classics. Plaza got T.I. Got, got classics. T Pain got classics. Facts. But look, Rick those, Ross got classics. You see who you name it, right? But then another. Are you naming? Think about the generation they in. Are you naming, they are in. You naming NBA Youngboy? Are you naming? But that's what I'm them? saying. Are that's you what I'm saying. How long do they need to last? Because look, them boys done last 10, 20 years. Right. So now yeah. we can say they got classes because they have te- they they have tried the test of time. Okay. Jim and, Jones. And when you balling, think about it, he have tried the test of time. But when you think about it, though. We were constantly listening to these songs. Constantly mm-hmm. listening to these songs. Dirk Young has, boy got classics. Dirk has songs Young boy will that have not listening classics to right now. for sure. They got songs that we not listening to. Matter of fact, I, from from Young boy, I like Young boy has Young no boy classics. gonna have fucking classics. Young what? boy got a coat. No, following. what song? He got a coat I don't give following. a damn. He got a, he got a, he got, a, he got a coat following that follows the shit out of him. They that love say, this. hey, look. God damn it. Trina and Trent Daddy got classics. Trina I don't and Trent Daddy got classics. No new artists Uncle that are Luke women got classics. that got classics. Right. Like, who City got classics? Baby classes? got classics. Ooh, Man, no, no, listen, no, I just, who no. you know who got a classic in the young generation? Young Thug and Rich on McQuan. Yes, sir. I they got classics. Listen, <laughs> that, 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 this here the lifestyle. That's a classic. <laughs> can, we can now put that, that in classic. That's, that's a classic. It's been right. long enough. For that, for we but see, say. when you ask the question, so what do we think is a classic? You you answering it yeah. right, and you know when it's a classic. You feel yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, feel a yeah, classic. Yeah, That's when yeah. you know it's a classic. And I feel like it has to stand a certain test of time. Right. It got, the, right, song gotta, right, right. the song gotta be still a hit 10 years from now. Yeah. That's what that's what it is. 
I agree. I agree. Yeah. F is lasting that long. Now, mm-hmm. when you think about that, right? Mm-hmm. From a, a a smaller level, a uh-huh. local level, you from two three nine. Mm-hmm. We all from two three nine. Mm-hmm. Everybody's chasing that hit, or everybody's chasing that classic. Mm-hmm. What would you say was the last or the most recent, or if there is a song out right now, which would be that hit that? Because I, I, there's a lot of hits that people put out that wasn't wasn't pushed properly mm-hmm. to get them to that next level. Mm-hmm. What would you say? Is it any song that you feel like is that you rocking to? Or From any, two three nine. Uh, any on a the local level, it could be two three nine or up and coming artists that you know that have a classic that a song that's rocking. Like right now. A song that because because when we think about it, he's doing the two three nine takeover, mm-hmm. right? And I put it like this: I can name you some classes I felt like that came out of Fort Myers that could have been that could have grew bigger than Fort Myers and actually became something. We was just talking about one of them. I feel like J Baby Hot Boy. Uh, hot Boy. Ooh, I feel yeah. like but, we was me. And, it's so crazy because me and Soldier just talking about this shit. He was like, "Cut that could have ended up. That could have been a one hit wonder." Which is like people try to look at one hit wonders is is a bad, bad thing, bad. but it's at the thing you haven't made a hit yet, right. so it's right. like you can't right. be mad at a nigga who made one <laughs> hit. Yeah, so you he made go. one. You don't right. got right. none. He that got a platinum plaque. You got none. It's live, but, but but that goes. That so goes like with I feel like Hot Boy was one of that songs that we that we sh- as a city could have pushed that bitch out of. Here. He was missing that team. He was missing so, that management. He was missing missing everything. It direction, took to move knowledge. Right, right, right. You feel me? Knowing the game, the, knowing the business. And that's what we all doing individually, yeah. trying to rap and learn the business at the same time by mm-hmm. ourselves. Mm-hmm. That's costing us time, costing us money, Facts. and costing us to miss opportunities Facts. because we ain't knowing. Facts. That's 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 what and that's what it's all about, bro. That's what it's all about, and that's what thing about it. I got knowledge. I've been in this shit ten years. You got knowledge. You've been in this shit ten years plus. You done been in situations that did contracts, labels. I done been in situations that did contracts, labels. You feel me? Right, so right. it's like us having that knowledge and certain other people having that knowledge. Um, we should be able to okay. Let's create a platform and create a system and a machine where we able to coach that. We ever we able to install that into the new generation right. so okay. that. You feel what me? you sign? Let me ask you something you real sign? quick. That's my question. Yeah. When, then, then, so, what do you feel like is a struggle or something you went through? Because you were signed to a label, right? Right. What is something you went through or any type of struggle with them that you will have to look out for going forward in the future when it comes down? I feel to like the biggest the- thing for me was just understanding marketing and understanding how promotion works and understanding. This shit is a business, so if a label, a label is really like a bank. They just giving you a loan in advance. Yeah, you might be signed to a good label who might be a, have a machine and press a button and they really invest. But a lot of times, these artists are so independent and they know how to blow themselves up. When a label give you money, they expect you to know what to do with it. So a lot of times, like that's um kind of a conversation we was I was having with another artist and shit like that. Where we was arguing. I was just basically what I was trying to get my point across was. When you do get a label, you get an opportunity to get some money. You got to understand the business to know what to do with this money to invest. I feel invest. like they be really hoping you don't know what to they do. With do. It. They do. That's why. That's why you. That's why you flop you. and now you stuck in the contract and you like, right. damn, I don't got my Wait, masters. So the damn, on. listen. You oh, all that and now you thing, fucked right. up. You mad because the first thing you went and did was buy a house. You bought a chain. So right. You labels, bought this. Right, you right, bought right, all right. this shit and you thought, oh shit. I'm Live the labels life. give you money and they don't tell you how to use the money. Yes, they, they pride. They pride on that because they want to keep you in a contract. They want to keep wow. you depending on. So that. this is how labels work. They'll give you a money. They'll give you a hundred thousand. You fuck it up. Okay, boom. Well, now you gotta you gotta make another album so you can recoup from the last album because so, you done fucked up the last. This album. how they fuck up, right? Let's just say the al- uh, the label give you a hundred thousand dollars, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A nigga who don't know nothing, they gonna go. Buy, I'm gonna buy me a car, buy me a house, buy mm-hmm. me a uh, which in reality is dumb shit off yeah. the ripper yeah. because that th- hundred thousand dollars is to invest into you. what you got going yeah. on, oh, okay. whether, making you bigger. Whether it's your jewelry, whether yeah. it's your clothes, to uh, keep a jewelry could be people. a good or a bad thing depending yeah, right, on what right. your budget is and how much you spent it. Also features, features, features. If you spend that money on the right feature, you it can got take to, you to the next level. You got to invest that money into your craft so to label keep it coming. Will let you crash out 
Because you, yeah, yeah. because you gotta pay it back you And now it back. They know you don't got the money To pay it back So guess what you gotta do Now you got Instead of making that one album Now you gotta make two albums Because they gonna pay for your studio time You gotta pay them back So that's where management for it. come in that's, that's where that's good it. management yeah, would yeah, come exactly. in Because they would know Jeez. how to budget you And how to manage you And how you should be moving with your budget this You know what I'm saying And job. then you done got all them beats <laughs> from them producers in your And you gotta pay like, for all that shit Yeah yeah you got to pay for all that That's where you got to invest that in, that, mm-hmm. that investment The you best thing you sure. could do with any money That you get from the tens of thousands All the way to the hundred thousands Is just invest in your marketing Because making the music Going to the music and making the studio, that's that's part of it. I'm not going to act like we can just disclude that. Making a good song, start with a good, catchy song. You know what I'm saying? But the rest is how do you market that song? How do you promote that song? Is it on TikTok? Did you do a TikTok campaign? Did you shoot a good video and get all the people you need in the video? Did you put run ads behind that video to push it? Did you put all these video? Did you put that video on all the blogs and put it on Say Cheese? Did you right. did you plan to roll out to where all to where your video gonna drop on all these platforms at the same time so it looked like you organically going viral? Did you plan this out? Did you market it? You feel me? So that's the most important thing to me. Like okay, so let's take this to another level uh-huh. for the artist who has got their foot in the door or is making noise right now uh-huh. because. The thing is, when when we dealing with Fort Myers Mm -hmm. and we don't come together, Mm -hmm. we have each individual artist wanting to be the man. Right, right. The man. Mm -hmm. Right. And once they get to that point, it's like, uh, I'm him. I Mm -hmm. can do this. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. Let's keep the city behind us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about when when you get that money and it's like, boom. It, It hurts you in the long run because you look at it like, like I take me for example, like I feel like one of my mistakes when I signed my deal is I didn't come back quick enough to the city and, and embrace the city and and share my success with the city. You feel me? I feel like that's very important because at the end of the day, they rooting for you. But if you out there and you feel like you done got Hollywood on a nigga, they gonna be like, man, the nigga done got Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we we need our city. Like you need your city behind you. So I feel like. The first thing people always do is get some money and be like, oh shit, I'm, I'm on the next level. Now nah, I'm on. City. Yeah, yeah, like, nigga, I ain't worried. Them niggas just haters anyway. But they hating because you ain't fucking with them. Right, right. Only reason a nigga could hate on you, bruh, is because you're not fucking with them. Right. It's really like, oh, with this whole 239 takeover, the only hate I done really got from people is people who I forgot to mention their damn name. Right. <laughs> they want their name mentioned. That's it. Right. Yeah. This is the, only, the only people you who they got. I then that it felt like, oh man, fuck that shit. I ain't fucking with no 239 takeover. Because I forgot to say my bad, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got That's 400 it. rappers. Right. I'm an right. artist myself. It's really not my job to try to. I'm just trying to put something together. But I can't keep up with all you niggas who went to the studio three times in your fucking life, and now you want me to consider you a rapper. So I was, I was saying, do you feel like the woman running the rap game era is over? Because and, and now, now let me say this also. Why has it turned into? All the men rappers becoming out singing and doing harmonies, and all the women are rapping so gangsta and tough. <laughs> why has it changed? Is that why the women are running the scene because they the tough rappers now? That's the world period. Damn. It seems like the women is just in general more dominant. It's like the, the testosterone. They got more testosterone, testosterone now. Yeah, yeah. It's like right. the, the niggas is more estrogen. Them niggas getting their feelings quick. Like right. what, God, what's damn. happening? And, and, I, and I think I think that's. What's causing a lot of problems mm-hmm. anyways mm-hmm. Cause women are controlling how men think mm-hmm. They telling us what a man is And what a man ain't Right, right. right. So not only are they running the rap game mm-hmm. They bossed up And they more hustler They getting, getting Get to the money. bag more Don't They need your giving ass. a fuck about it. So that, that was When I say that That was a big question that she wanted to ask mm-hmm. In today's age In 2024 <laughs> Do you feel like a man has any value to a woman besides money? Mm. You know what? They used to, but I feel like now niggas ain't chopping trees and fixing tires and <laughs> cutting roofs and plumbering and ranching, fixing the sink when it's broke. That's what she said. I feel like men not doing that now, so we used to have more value than just money. They but sassy. But I feel like, yeah, niggas is not really getting their hands dirty. Like, you mm-hmm. know, the OGs, our pops and our uncles in the old, they know how to do shit. Right. A lot of the young niggas don't know how to do, can't paint a house, can't so do it. So we basically lost. The right. men, too, I feel like it's, they, it's on mm, us, for sure. Yeah. Because I feel like we got to get back to what the men do, which is 
more than just provide money. So I, I feel like it's easier for us to provide money, but the ones who don't got it now, we mad because they done changed the narrative. Now all they care about is money. Money, right. So I was going to say, yeah, I guess yeah. it's okay it's now care about that money. women just say, look, you either got the money or you ain't got nothing. Because your ass ain't finna fix no sink. You ain't right. finna fix this tire. You don't tire. even know You don't know to. nothing about no, no fixing no carpet breakdown. You don't know this. And they done ran their bag up because I could pay somebody else who could right. do it. And you got to so have what? money because so I got money. So what can you do for me? So you and they don't care about your dick because they got the rolls. <laughs> 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 So you what, what can we do? I guess you we gotta sing that song. <laughs> We got the same. We got to we gotta, we gotta do what Usher did in the halftime before. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the answer is no. We don't have no value no more. Women don't nah, respect bro. Broke and men. I feel like we got to put the value back in ourselves by providing more than just money. Being but like, what look, bitch, I can do. You got to shit. You got to be a man. You got to be a man. You got to be a man. Gotta shit, be a man. these niggas don't even want to take the trash out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> real. <laughs> you don't even want to get you go to a female house, you see a trash filled up. A nigga, a young nigga walk right by that motherfucker. He trying to get his rocks off and go back home. Like, niggas yep. ain't doing nothing for but trying to hunt. And get and a yeah, kid snacks. You <laughs> That's it. That's it. You Eat all the baby goddamn yeah. gummy bears and shit. Damn, so dog. yeah, bro, it's like, I feel like the men gotta bring the value to themselves besides money. We gotta that's, make it more than just that's money. That's why I told her without yeah. money, you ain't. Nah, but now, nah, yeah, without money, you ain't. Wait, wait, don't like, say that's what you actually told no, me. Nah, no, you no. were just saying it. I'm <laughs> saying, like, if a <laughs> so broke man is that. not respected. It sounds like she was kind of saying, that's what I told her. No, bro, you ain't got no, money. no, a mm-hmm. broke man is not respected. Let me ask They're you this not. Is there room for middle class men, men who work? Who got a little money but can't go buy a Chanel purse? Yes. Or got like, is that like, are them men still popular? Like, do do women still? Because it's like they really, it's like it's for for uh, for the men. It look like okay, you temporary. I'm really looking for the nigga who finna pull up and and uh, with with the G wagon in the mansion. And but I deal with you right now. But I, you feel know I me? Mean? Right. So uh, is there media. room for it? Is it social media? I think social media. media. Yeah. It's social sure. media because yep. the, the girls that say, say fuck yeah, a nigga, they. But, but think about it though. The, all the women who were out saying fuck a nigga, they booed up. They got niggas. Yeah, they be cabin. They, they got niggas. They, they, they be trapping. They, they didn't trick me because I'm booed up, boo boo. Especially oh, the city girls. Especially the city girls. Because it's like, y'all the main ones with boyfriends. Stop that yeah. shit. Right. Look at JT. <laughs> she Sexy Red had just man, had a baby. You been in, you been in, yeah. She Sexy in love. Red. And the thing about I like about Sexy Red too is she. I feel like her baby dad is a regular dude. He is. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, she ain't leaving. I feel like that That's that she kept it real where it's like, okay, I'm not looking for no rich, rich dude. And I done heard a lot of, I done been in the industry with, with popping females, K Shot Day, a lot of different people like artists and shit like that. And a lot of them dudes, they like to deal with regular dudes. You feel me? Like, so it's like. I honestly feel like Young Miami, the only one live up to that shit because she fucked for with sure, Diddy. For sure. She, yeah, yeah. She lives up to and what yeah, she saying. But I feel like I seen a post where it say, this, uh, like her money want her to be with Diddy, but she really want to be with her baby daddy because they had a picture where she was oh, with her yeah. baby daddy. After <laughs> so it's like you really, you really with Diddy because he got this money, but it's right. like you really want to be with your baby daddy. If your baby daddy had Diddy money, you would be, you with, would your be with your daddy. baby daddy. So for right. a man, it's basically safe to not get with a woman because if you ain't got it, she gonna leave you for someone who do. There's some I ain't gonna say that. There's no. some genuine women out here. No. There's some there's, still, there's some genuine women. There's some, some genuine women out here. I'm just asking a question. I wasn't yeah. saying nothing. Yeah. I, was just, I feel like it's women yeah. out here. I yeah. feel like. Like we all looking for gold diggers. Got to stop looking for the That's Instagram true. models. Got to stop looking for the... It's, just, it's some bad women I had them ran across them and they don't even have social media. So they not influenced by the lifestyle and all that. They, she a nurse. She work at the hospital. She did work a regular nine to five. And she not worried about that. Because niggas like, hey, what's your Instagram? But you not niggas worried about her. You that. trying to chase Cardi B. So it's right. like... You got to know, pick it, you got to know so your lane. So she has tore it up. They yeah. have messed up reality. So when you chasing those women, why you get mad when they say, where the, where the money? Facts, because you're chasing, chasing that type of that's, woman. That's what you going There for. are fine women, beautiful women out here who don't, but you, she's not on Instagram. She's not on, she's not in the club every weekend. She's right. not. It's women that go, really want you. Gonna you going to run it, you got to go to Publix to find her. Like, <laughs> you know what's crazy too? I know some niggas who ain't have nothing and... Once they powered up and got their bag right, they are now cuffed in them relationships with women they could have never had. Yeah. That's crazy. That's bad. Fuck? That bad. Shout out to the men, though, because there's a few of them who 
blow up and keep they same women same that they have. That, Shout yeah, out to them. Right. Got because yeah. I'm, a, I'm a firm it's, believer is you can make your woman bad as she want to be. Because what, what yeah, they, yeah. what's the difference, what, what's the difference between this Instagram and her? Like, what she right, got that right. you... Let me boss and, my and bitch up. Let me put her in Chanel. Let me put her in diamonds. A lot of people don't really be like that. They Come be on. basic. Are they the one that got surgery? They be, but they be, they be jumping from nigga to nigga to nigga. They probably got a Chanel bag from this nigga. Right? <laughs> 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 then they got this from this nigga. They got mm-hmm. this from this one. And really don't be having nothing for real. But they, they could post all of it like they got it. Because yep. you know they done been to nigga to nigga. Some, some females got a new nigga every weekend. Yep. Yep. And be like, oh, I, I'm living my you life. Got a you bunch of niggas. Fucked. You getting but, fucked? That's true. Yeah, you you low key prostitute. Like, they <laughs> are, they <laughs> are prostituting. It's a different level. Like it's a different version. Yeah, yeah, different version of but the I also it's feel it's like the, the, it's I feel That's like why. the women artists they they influence the younger girls. Yeah. Look what Sessa Red yeah. talking about. Now yep. all the young girls want to be like. Her. And you know what's so crazy? And a lot of them don't even live, live that. that life, oh, I was about bro. to say. I was you took for, it right out my for mouth. Me to find out Trina wasn't that bitch who she was talking about. <laughs> I said you told me all that she shit. Tell, on she yeah, telling you man, fucking nigga. nigga. She really want to go home, get married, cook for her man, stay at home all day. She's like, where you at, babe? She really chasing the same nigga. <laughs> it's like, bro, but, but that's what sell. Yeah, that's what but they don't. But but they don't care. I feel, about you know what we got. You know what I feel like. The biggest thing I was telling you, as a black community as a whole, even bigger than two through nine, just us as black. I feel like we gotta stop. We got to understand music is entertainment. Yeah, we got to right. stop yeah. trying to live our lives based off of what people are saying in some fucking rap songs. But you know that, got, you know the new generation of rappers actually living what they rapping and they all throwing their careers away. That's the thing. You it's like, okay, it's like, oh, now we got all these rappers who really living that life and all of them dead or in jail, Shit, fighting bro, murder, fighting look life. At, look at all of them. They gone so it's like, like it's it. like, now we do got the rap, but before yeah. that, it was entertainers. At the end of the day, nigga want to go home to their family. The, I don't want to have The craziest to... shit that happened when, when I was growing up was Pac and Biggie. Right. But <laughs> right. now, every one of the new rappers got murder charges. They right. got, they, they fighting all these different cases. Rico's, get all of them got Rico's. That's all of crazy. them got, so it's like, bro, you trying to live what you rap is is really a trick because it's like why the fuck would you kill somebody and then go rap about rap it? Rap about it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Right, right. Think about the logic <laughs> behind it. it. It's really like I just sold two pounds, nigga, at my house on such and such street. <laughs> it's like, bro, <laughs> what? And I don't think they watch it. You feel me? It's like, bro. So it's like the logic of it is really stupid because a lot of niggas get indicted off their lyrics. So I just yeah. posted a status on Facebook uh, yesterday, uh, a couple days ago, and I was asking, uh, is it bad or not cool for an uh, artist to have a nine to five? Because I know everybody can't I, be I see living Akon what they say every artist should have a job. Every artist. Wow. I heard Akon say that. When Akon said that, it hit different because I'm like, damn, he a multi-millionaire platinum artist. And he's like, every up and coming artist should have a job. He was like... Because at the end of the day, you have to fund the fund music that. career and you still have to live. You still do got you, bills. Do you feel you like that's a limit? Huh? What they can rap about now? No. Why you can't be a gangster and work at such and such? Well, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I, I'm work, I got a job, but I would still bust your ass. Because <laughs> uh, being that I was a rapper and did rap, yeah. I know a lot of rappers who were embarrassed or didn't want to say that they had a job yeah. or didn't yeah. want to show they I got to be ducked off. Think about I can't this, get right? no job in my city. Think about, the, slide. think about the rapper, right? Who sell weed? And he's he make he's selling a QP of weed, and he make six hundred dollars. And then the rapper who got CDLs and he drive trucks and he make ten bands a week and he got chains and all this stuff and cars and you like and you just like you not rapping about having a job. This nigga got a job. He make way more money than you. But how do you commit so I really to feel that like the job don't matter. It's about the bag. With a nine uh, to five, it's hard right, to really right. put it's your a, all it's into about the it. Bag, but from the from the listener and the viewer point of view. Uh-huh. You rap about all this, like that nigga working at a job, and they got a job. Matter of fact, I heard one time Mook Boy had a nine to five working in construction. I was like, what? It, it fuck up, it fuck up a perception because the music be so capped that you think a nigga that's, selling and that's ten exactly bricks. What's, a nigga that's told what you, you think a nigga selling ten bricks. So when he tell you, you got a job, it's like what? But it's like, bro. This, it goes back to what I said. This is entertainment. Right, and that's entertainment. what's so crazy about it. Because then we sit here and talk about the ones that's actually living for real and doing what they're saying. It's like, how do you win with the... How and the one who's living it for real got to fight a fair charge. Right. Got to fight. He on his life for death row. 
he got to fight a Rico. You know what I'm saying? And the so one who's like, not living it got to be like, damn, it's fucking up my credibility on my raps and shit. Like, cause I got a damn, job. Damn, make Afro like, beats music. <laughs> <laughs> shit, make me swear. You better make you some shit. Well, listen, man. we got Lottie in here, man. Nah, Lottie sure. got two, three, nine takeover. We got something going on tomorrow, February seventeenth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, man, we got a meet and greet pop out. March twenty third, we got a showcase. So if you're an up and coming artist, you want to get talent, we got uh, A and R is gonna be there. We got the whole city popping out. Everybody who's somebody gonna be there. So it's like it's not just about. Uh, winning the showcase But it's about Showcasing your talent You know what I'm saying Letting the city know You feel like you him But letting the city know You know what I'm saying Like So it's just You know what I'm saying It's an opportunity bro For you to win some money And get some promotion And get a team behind you Cause whoever win the showcase The 239 Takeover team Is gonna make them a priority And they gonna do everything They can To help Get the artists moving And we got people Who involved Who got the knowledge Who in the industry So it's like you know, just tap in, man. That sounds sure. like everything they need. For sure. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like if yeah. you really rapping and trying to make it, that's where you need to be at. Fact. If you Fact. serious about your craft. For sure. So, yeah, man, just tap in, man. It's a team, man. It's, it's, it's about 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's a lot of us. So, it's like people going to tap in and help. So, it's like, man, just tap in for sure. Yes, sir, man. We appreciate you sliding through, man. I appreciate man. y'all having me, man. 239 Turk. And Jasmine Nicole. We're on Mixed Vibes, man. Y'all can fuck with us. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's a good shit. <laughs> that's a good shit. You snap. <laughs>